we have some great quality and performance enhancements to SOLIDWORKS Visualize 2025. First, Visualize Boost now offers a more user-friendly interface to use multiple machines for your rendering tasks. With greater stability and machine discovery that has been made easier, you will now be able to set up an impressive rendering farm in no time at all. In the case that you want that plain background, it was easy enough to change and visualize. Unfortunately, marketing sometimes doesn't want the shadow on the floor. In the past, we could always turn the ground catcher off, causing the ground shadow to disappear. But we also lost the shadows at the bottom of our render too. With the new fade option on the ground shadow catcher, we can remove the shadows on the ground while preserving the shadows on the rendered objects. Fast Render Mode has been added to the Stellar Rendering Engine. Previously, only preview and accurate modes were available. Using the Vulkan Ray Tracing API, Fast Mode can give you a real-time interactive renderings to get a better feel for your final render results. Shadows and reflections are more accurate than in preview mode, reducing the amount of time waiting for accurate mode to fully render. As of 2025, support for the NVIDIA iRay has been discontinued. The Stellar Physically Correct Engine will now be the default rendering engine. Older projects done in the NVIDIA Render Engine will be translated over to Stellar when opened in Visualize 2025. Finally, SOLIDWORKS Visualize 2025 now has an API capable of allowing users to create functionality. Render SOLIDWORKS documents directly or convert them over to Visualize projects automatically. Users can see what's available by going to Help and API Help to get started with automation.